Hiya, Kiki here, and I am going to give you an overview today of the unplugged activity functions in songwriting and its sister activity functions with parameters in songwriting. So both of these activities come from the same place. The idea is to use the lyrics of a song and pick out the chorus like most lyric places on the web do and uh, pull out the chorus, define it up above, and then whenever you go back to that text, you use the term chorus in the rest of the lyrics. Again, this is something that's already being done. It's just kind of pointing out how it relates to functions, procedures in the real world. Uh, the same thing is sort of true then when we add the parameters in because there are songs that are relatively easy to use here where the chorus is almost exactly the same but there's something that changes so an example of that might be old mcdonald uh, old mcdonald has a farm e-i-e-i-o that kind of that part is the same but on his farm he might have a dog or a cat and the dog might bark and the cat might meow and those are things that even though you can recycle the rest of the chorus, you need to be specific about those items in the chorus and you need to pass those parameters through so that the person knows how to sing them. Uh, so we teach in the parameters version, we teach how to make that identification using parameters with the parentheses and putting your arguments inside passing it through to the chorus and uh, carrying on as normal. With the original songwriting, uh, we skip the parameters part and we just select songs where the chorus is identical every time. So I hope that gives you an idea of what we're going for there. Uh, feel free to read the lesson plan. There are some videos, other videos that you can watch. I will link those in the description box. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the box below or tweet me at Kiki versus IT and I will respond as soon as possible. Until then, happy coding.